Green Bay, Green Bay Packaging Inc. plans to build the first new paper mill in the United States in 30 years and invest more than $500 million in its Brown County operations, the project would be one of the largest single business projects in Brown County's history and will rival the investment the Green Bay Packers have made over time in Lambeau Field in the Titletown District. It will enable the company to retain about 600 jobs and lay the groundwork for up to 200 more. Company officials expect it will take until 2021 before the existing mill shuts down and the new mill goes into operation. We are very excited. This is a huge project for us, by far the biggest thing we've ever done in the history of our company, Green Bay Packaging CEO Will Cress said. It's kind of a leap of faith, Cress announced the expansion Tuesday morning. He was joined by Gov. Scott Walker, Brown County Executive Troy Streckenbach and Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt, who announced government incentives totaling almost $90 million for the project, this is a big risk for them and we're going to share some of it with them, Schmidt said. These will be great paying jobs. We're happy with the commitment they're making. Losing these guys would have been devastating, the additional jobs are expected to be created by 2022, about 1,000 construction workers will be required to build the new mill, which will replace the 71-year-old paper mill in Green Bay. Close Green Bay Packaging CEO Will Cress talks about the decision to invest more than $500 million in building a new mill. Jeff Bollier, USA Today Network Wisconsin It will increase the company's production capacity by 50%, while a switch from coal to natural gas will reduce sulfur dioxide emissions by 90% and greenhouse gas emissions by 50% per ton of paper produced. Company also said the new mill will not discharge wastewater into the Fox River. It would be capable of trimming paperboard up to 300 inches in width, replacing a paperboard machine with a 164-inch trim in operation since 1950. The company has spent years evaluating the construction of a new mill. Green Bay Packaging Executive Vice President Brian Hollenbach said the company explored shutting down the mill and buying paper instead of producing it, as well as building the new mill in Indiana, Iowa or Missouri, but the Kress family said, do it right here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Hollenbach said. It's the right thing, long-term commitment to T, county and state officials delivered a significant incentives package after the company asked them for help to make the project viable in Green Bay instead of a different community, this is a long-term commitment, and we appreciate the opportunity to keep a well-known brand here, Streckenbach said. A lower Midwest state makes sense since it would connect them to logistics corridors and distributors, but the loss here would have been devastating. We wanted to find a way to make this mill work right here, Wisconsin Economic Development CEO Mark Hogan said the state will provide $60 million in enterprise zone tax credits tied to job retention and creation. Streckenbach said the county will spend $5.3 million on infrastructure to create a Fox River papermaking corridor in the area. Green Bay Economic Development Director Kevin Vonk said the city will create a new tax incremental financing district for the project that's projected to rebate up to $23 million in property taxes to the company once the new mill is built, Schmidt said the city also would deed its evidence storage building, located near Green Bay Packaging's Quincy Street Mill, to the company as well. Hollenbach said the two-and-a-half-year construction phase means time is of the essence. The city, county and state all expect to review funding requests by the end of June, and Hollenbach said the company hopes Myron Construction will begin construction in September. Founded in 1933, Green Bay Packaging employs 1,100 people at six sites in Green Bay, Dupur and Ashwabanon and more than 1,500 in Wisconsin. It is the eighth-largest private employer in Brown County, according to the Greater Green Bay Chamber. William Cress of Green Bay Packaging, Inc is the 2016 Rotary Club of Green Bay Free Enterprise Award recipient. Photo, submitted, Rotary Club of Green Bay, related, Green Bay Packaging President Will Cress wins Free Enterprise Award related, Green Bay Packaging acquires two Milwaukee area companions about the project expansion, Green Bay Packaging Inc. plans to build a $583 million mill to replace its existing, 71-year-old mill.
the project will increase its capacity by 50%, cut greenhouse gas emissions and eliminate wastewater discharges into the Fox River. The expansion includes installation of a state-of-the-art 300-inch trim mill adjacent to its existing mill at 1601N. Quincy Street, just east of the Fox River, sources briefed on the project said the project would require 1.5 million man-hours of labor and 1,000 construction workers. Jobs The expansion will enable the community to retain approximately 600 jobs, and could add 200 more going forward, government officials said. Assistance The project would require state, city and county government to provide almost $90 million in financial assistance, tax breaks and or in-kind contributions. The city's contribution will likely take the form of tax increment financing reimbursed after the mill is completed. Brown County will provide $5.3 million in aid, including site preparation work, timetable. Green Bay Packaging has asked government to fast-track the project so it can place orders for machinery and break ground in September. That means there will be several meetings in the coming weeks to seek approvals. The administration and executive committees of the Brown County Board will meet at 5.30 p.m. Thursday in the first floor auditorium at the Neville Public Museum, 210 Museum Place, in downtown Green Bay, the meeting will also serve as an information session for the public. County Board Chairman Patrick Moynihan Jr. said company representatives will be there to answer questions, and Corporation Council's office will attend to explain the legal issues. Committees will be asked to recommend that the 26-member County Board grant approval for the county's contribution to the project. A vote on that question is likely June 20th. The city's redevelopment authority will hold a special meeting on Friday to review the development agreement before the Green Bay City Council takes up the same agreement June 19th, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corp. Board of Directors will be asked to act on the state's $60 million in incentives at its board meeting at the end of the month. About the company Green Bay Packaging has six facilities in Brown County, three elsewhere in Wisconsin, and numerous others across 13 states from California to Virginia, according to its website, Corrugated, converting operations on 11.6 acres at 831 Radisson Street, Green Bay. A packaging systems operation on 3.2 acres at 1700 Webster Court, Green Bay. A mill operation on 2.8 acres at 1500 and Quincy Street, Green Bay. A corrugated, converting operation on 18.8 acres at 2001 American Boulevard. On DePers West Side. Headquarters of its coated products operations on 11.8 acres at 3250 South Ridge Road, Ashwabanon. A folding curtain operation at 2275 American Boulevard, DePer. Other Wisconsin operations include plants in Germantown, Franksville, Wausau and recently acquired Wisconsin Packaging Corp. In Fort Atkinson, the Germantown and Franksville operations were acquired in 2014, 22 sites in Arkansas, California, Georgia, Illinois, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Ohio, Oklahoma, Texas and Virginia. Reader share the story, https colon slash slash gbpg.net slash 2t69qfk.